welcome back awakened family thank you for joining me again on another installment of awakened thank you so much for your love and your support to all my returning subscribers and if it happens that you are passing by i hope you do enjoy your stay and welcome to the awakened family please do continue to like share our videos and subscribe to our channel to help us grow and also leave your comments in the comment sections below now without wasting any more time let us get right into today's installment Well, Awakened Family, today I want us to just have a little talk, story time, so they call it, the YouTubers. And I want us to perhaps debrief and just have an open conversation about mental health, mental illness, right? So this conversation was actually sparked during my preparation for uh, this installment and i was having a talk with a cousin of mine and what i appreciate about our talk is that she's a kind of person that when we talk we talk and we'll go on for as long as a month without having like a phone call conversation if because we are not seeing each other but in between there's texting and all of that but when we do initially have um a phone call and have to talk we really do talk so we're having an open conversation about mental health and what are the things that we are still learning and what actually the pandemic has done to teach us all to enlighten us that wait a minute we need to pause we need to actually do take care of our mental health now i've got a, i've got points that i want us to touch base on and i want you to please in the comment sections leave comments and let's take this conversation um forward and let's continue to have this conversation and be open create safe spaces around ourselves to be able to sit down with whomever and our families and have these kind of conversations so i want us to start off by talking about switching off now as i was as i was having this conversation with my cousin she also has this thing of um switching off like she would go on the whatsapp and put a status that she's offline and when she's offline she means she's offline so i find that very important that as people as human beings we have so much that we carry and we don't stop we are always on this ball rolling rolling and rolling and if we allow that to keep on happening people ride on that to say she, she's got this or he's got this so when you break down people don't expect that from you it can't be her it can't be him you know and this notion of uh people being strong no don't give people the impression that when i go so month you know you've got this you you can do all this and no approach people ask for help reach out you know people are always there waiting um it's either they are waiting to help you or they are waiting to see you fall so be careful who you surround yourself with the kind of people that you talk to the kind of things that you put out there for people to know about you because some people use those things as, as weapons at the end of the day to get to you and you wallow by yourself at the end of the day and those people are not there with you so i want us to be able to learn to guard 
our peace you know take care of our mental as much as you know she made a, a, a very good example that when a person is injured they they go to hospital and as they admitted probably they go through an op or whatever but there's a time where they take them to the ward to go and recover now there are times in hospitals where you you visit for a reason because they are trying to give these patients or the people who are recovering their time to themselves and to actually recover and get some sleep get some rest so why is it then that if someone says they are offline or they are switching off it's such a oh why would you do that why would why, do, why would he do that we need to respect people's um time off you know if the person is switching off go then and say okay is it now a good time to talk can we talk you know approach it with this with the sense that this person was recovering even if the person didn't say why are they doing that you don't need to know it's their time to do that and it's their call so we like to impose ourselves good hey man it can't be undone why would you just you know it's like you don't want to talk to people now or family or whoever you are avoiding people that's the first thing that they say you are avoiding us or if a person calls you you know, long time hi bo hindoni are you avoiding us but you, you don't even ask how are you doing it's been a while or it's been a minute that we have spoken can we talk you know let's approach this as as if we are approaching a closed door when you approach a closed door you knock first before you enter you don't just budge in and you know start telling people but you are ignoring us why have you switched off this and this and this and that but no you could have told us what you're going through that you're not creating the safe spaces for people to talk about their issues that's the thing once you start judging people and not helping this destigmatizing in mental health and mental illness no one will ever come and say look i'm going through 1 2 3 4 or i've been diagnosed with 1 2 3 4 but the, as soon as people try and protect their mental uh, health we start having these uh, uh, side talks about them and yo and this thing about families you know family i need to bring this up if someone is diagnosed right with for instance bipolar now they start making jokes in the family why the look ning am tubinga means une bipolar or bipolar kids are woke let's start there right we need to educate ourselves about these different kinds of mental illnesses being sent has nothing to do with bipolar me being sitting alone and you know listening to my to myself or whatever at the moment you know i'm feeling this and i'm like i don't i just want to be with myself be in that moment in that zone what do i can look me i'm to step cuz if you get bipolar you know such things we must stay away from those things because as much as we are trying to to fight the stigma it's those little things that sustain high that bring about this stigma and it, it it becomes something that now people are not comfortable talking about anything so all i'm saying is let us create safe spaces for ourselves for the people who would like to approach us and actually share with us what they are going through let us create spaces whereby you are able to sit with this person and actually not say anything not even judge them but just listen because guess what sometimes it's all the person needs just to be heard that's it and not to be heard so that when you must go and tell uban ban 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 no it stays between the two of you whatever happened to the patient and doctor confidentiality thing 
so that person came with to you or approached you with the confidence that whatever that they are sharing with you is a khala now so you must also have someone who you are going to debrief to but not uba you're going to take the exact thing that they you have been told by this person no you are going to debrief your staff ezako kengoko not we now we're gonna go and be gossiping about other people and their issues no let us help one another let us uh, be kind let us show compassion you know we spoke about this earlier on when i started this youtube channel and when i started this youtube channel i said i am by no means a pro in the subject matter mental health right there was a reason for me to say that because people now come to you and think uba no ngoku you you know you can be their everything psychologist you can be their counselor you can be that no we'll refer one another that's why i always say can we comment in the comment section below let us help one another if one is going through like a rough patch and they're saying okay i need help you know if you know of a good psychologist refer those people to 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 the professionals and let us help one another out because we are on different journeys let us be kind to one another what comes out of our mouth sometimes hey it's like um people are even scared to approach us you know we have this fear and fear creates anxiety and stress that's one thing for us to have peace we need to to have faith in ourselves and and have faith in the people that we are consulting with but if we are approaching those people and fearing for our lives then you know we creating this atmosphere of stress and anxiety which is unnecessary at times so family let us look out for one another and the other thing is most of us ngamagoduk right it's november now december is coming you're going home for christmas you're going home for new years and all that let us be kind to one another because for instance imagine uh, I'm approaching family gathering and then I'm being called oh I get now go get so shrink now go get women that I'll be nicknamed mental health you know there's some people who just don't get uba when you are trying for instance when I started this a uh, youtube channel it was me saying ah uh, man mental health is not being spoken about I lost a loved one right a person whom i thought we were both each other's confidantes and to me it was an alarm but to this day i rarely hear anybody in my family bring it up it's like taboo to speak about it so i thought well you know what while i i'm on this journey of learning more about mental health and mental illnesses let me just create a platform maybe someone like me is out there you know they want to be informed about such they want to know more about this mental health and mental illnesses so that silungi so khala you know let us uh, uh, be there for one another and not be scared um let us not be scared to to reach out because society has created that thing yoba It's a sign of weakness it's not it's absolutely not it's okay not to be okay but i don't want you to now say oh i get kunzi mike you know but let us not dwell on the issues find help so that we are able to move on the other thing that i want to actually talk about is social media <laughs> when you're getting old or older uh social media tends to be intrusive so to say so the other day i'm looking through facebook and i had thought once upon a time facebook would just pass me by because it just gives me some anxiety you know 
unnecessary anxiety but when used the way it's intended to be it's a good platform but me being on facebook and my niece my nephews also being there and putting out these posts that i don't have to see you know what i mean and for them it's fine you know it's, it's a matter of generational differences and age group and you know all those things and then when you see it's like yo you are really getting older but my worry is putting yourself out there for everyone to see today you are celebrating this yes it's fine share it but when you also in your down time or your sad times people tend to now hold back over no those people know me as this bubbly happy person and what would they think now and um, about me sharing this so all i'm saying is i need i think we need to trend uh, uh, positively or for the positive reasons on social media and navigate with wisdom because you might be giving someone an opportunity or a weapon to use against you at a later stage not knowing because with internet you can't erase some things or whatever you put out there you cannot erase so i believe that we need to to alert the younger generation that whatever that they put out there it can also hinder because i know with some other companies when you are looking for job opportunities you know they they look at profiles you know depending on what space of work that you are you you are applying in in the media space you know they look at your social media accounts and all those things so that can have an impact in your career at a later stage should you want to to be in that you know um the career of of, of media perhaps so it's one i don't know it's a catch 22 social media for me i don't know comment section comment in the section below and let me know what you feel and what are your thoughts about um social media and the other thing that i wanted to talk about is don't go out on social media looking for likes you know um like yourself learn to validate yourself because guess what I might be sitting with my phone and I'm on this social media platform and I'm just ticking like, 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 like without even reading what you've posted, you know, and you go out there and you're like, yo, I've got so many likes, you know, that, that means people like my content and, you know, whatnot. For me, it's, I don't know, that's why I'm saying it's a catch-22 situation. But if you are for the cause of what the person is doing, you know, and if you are for what they're doing in society like the difference that they're making you know it's it's it's, it's good it's an it's, you can see and you can read that it was done with good intentions so people can change based on what you put out there sometimes i i check like having so many social media accounts I look at them and I'm I'm like no but it's not sometimes necessary to have them or because you look at how people are living their lives for the gram like they call it and they're living it for the gram because there's no way that in your day-to-day -day life you are always looking like an Instagram picture that you're posting and my fear is that other people look into that and start leveraging themselves against that to say i want to top that i want it and sometimes you're just sharing it was a good time that you had at that moment or whatever that you were doing but now someone is out to 
you know no i want to be better than her i want to do better than him i want it's toxic it's just too toxic and that works on our mental health it really does people end up committing suicides because now friends have this and they are left behind and because these circumstances they to the end of the day they're not the same we come from different backgrounds different homes you know challenges there too they're not the same so you cannot be going out on social media and comparing yourself and this is what we need to teach our children because our kids unfortunately they come home they see these things you know it's it's all out there mixed with advertising and they just come running to say but no i want that i want that because whoever has that whoever has that you know so it's not healthy it's really not healthy so we need to teach our young ones that what you have you must be content with what you have and you work harder you know to get what you need it's not always about wants you need we need, we need to weigh our needs against our wants so awakened family all in all i believe that through storytelling and sharing our journeys and being open um and creating those safe spaces we can break down the stigma around mental health let us be the beacon of hope let us be the ones to illuminate the way for those who are struggling with mental illnesses and those whose ideas of mental health and perhaps mental illness as a whole um are still in the dark so be the light or hold the light remember that and one thing that i've learned through being a parent is um trying to fit in in a very judgmental society as you figure yourself out you you then realize that you need to focus on things that you have control of thank you family for watching yet another installment of awakened i think i was going on and on and on for a very long time so i think i need to end our conversation on that point but i want us to continue to interact with one another and create the safe space uh, safe spaces for us and our children to be able to speak to us about what they're going through let them be honest and feel um comfortable in sharing what they're going through because we are creating those safe spaces for them But until our next installment please do take care of yourselves physically and mentally and please don't forget to like share and subscribe to our channel to help us grow until our next installment it's bye for now thank you for watching